Sometimes I go back to the original photograph, get the drawing right. I don't always draw out the dinosaur first, but lately I've been liking doing that. So now I'll totally fuck him up by doing that. He looks like a bird. I have to make him look less like a bird. It's hard to get the dinosaur body color right. Somehow I forget what it is all the time. I love that Halloween costume of the T-Rex with all the people running in it and the head flips back. And so I found photographs of it and it just looked like it was the perfect thing to hang a painting on. That it could just be the start of a thousand paintings. Buffalo, New York, and I was always going to the Albright Knox Art Gallery, and they have an amazing collection of FX painters and also stain painters. I think I just absorbed all that stuff. At one point, like in like 2005, I just stopped gessoing the canvas, and I really loved what would happen when I just stained it. It also left the painting much more open to chance, which I really love. Sometimes I go for a tie-dye effect with these things. You know, I never went to Grateful Dead shows, but I love the idea of those banners people make for them with the uh, with tie-dye. So I sometimes try to go for that effect. A couple years ago, I was doing these big banner paintings, and I would try to m make create an effect that looked like tie-dye, and so I brought it into this painting where I. I splattered paint onto the wet paint and it sort of looks like tie-dye. I grew up in the 70s and though my parents weren't hippies, they were too old for that. I was too young for that. There were a lot of hippies in Buffalo and I think I've just absorbed that culture. And there's something about the relaxed nature of what we think of as hippie culture that appeals to me. The hippies started during the second George W. Bush election and I was angry about him and the war and I was working at a corporation and one day this hippie just appeared in my drawing and for me he just like represented freedom and I loved him and I just obsessively made hippie paintings for a few years and I stopped and moved on to something else, but I always knew I'd come back to the hippies. So that's what I'm doing now. I started these drawings, just with quick drawings with the graphite on paper, and I purposely just left them on the floor of the studio, and 
I was walking on them and I left them for a while and then I thought, oh, you know, I'll go back into them and paint. So I did and I added some new ones that weren't on the floor. I like the idea of the hippie being a surfer dude too. And I just was sort of fascinated by the colors and the graphic nature of these guys. So these are wrapped up in plastic so that they don't get harmed, but I made these during the pandemic. This guy's called Omega Man. There's one behind here. Sometimes I like if I cut the legs off in the drawing, I just add them back somewhere else. I call this woman COVID lady because I started her at the beginning of the pandemic and she just came out of me and I just needed to keep painting this angry lady. She's sort of my female hippie. She's also a cave woman. She makes crafts. Like I do. Oh look, that's my husband. I didn't know it was in this pile. And there's sort of the hippie or the COVID lady with a T-Rex. Mm -hmm.